Hi, this is Jeff Podlasik with Toad DB2 Development, and I'm going to run through some basics of Toad for DB2. Now, the first time you install and run a new version of Toad for DB2, I'm running Toad for DB2 version 6.1. And so the first time you run it, you're going to get prompted. If you had any previous versions of Toad installed, you'll get prompted to migrate your settings from any prior version. And in this case, you can see I've got several prior versions installed, but I'm going to cancel and not migrate any of the, my settings. So what Toad does now is it brings up a configuration wizard that allows you to set some defaults, preferences of how things are going to look and feel with Toad. And I'm going to choose a custom one so I could customize some look and feel things within Toad. And the first thing it looks like, it brings you to ask what type of skin, coloring scheme, if you will, uh, do you want Toad to use? There are many. I'm going to use the default one that we set, which is Toad Blue. And the same with the grid style. There's many grids displayed in Toad, and you could you know, choose from how you want those grids colored or fashioned inside of Toad. And I'm gonna choose the default there too. Now I'm gonna click Next, and this next tab shows the initial display of the Database Explorer, how the objects are gonna be organized, either by tabs, and you can see as you click the options on the left, the little you get a little preview image of how it might look on the right. Now again, these are defaults. These could be changed anytime when you're in tow, but you're setting your defaults how things are going to be displayed. Tree view, flat tree. I actually prefer a drop down list. And I'm going to click next. And then this um, screen allows you to specify if you want any connection manager screens to come up. Either a connection dialog that has a lot of real estate or a connection manager window that is smaller and can be pinned. So I'm going to select that and click next. And on this final screen here, this asks you what you want Toad to display immediately after a database connection has been made. So you could you could display either a database explorer, a SQL editor window where you could type in Freeform SQL, or a new query builder window in which Toad will graphically build a query for you. I'm gonna leave this selected as a database explorer and click finish. So now, as you can see, my Toad is up and running and we'll walk through some more customization steps in a little bit.